So, uh, Xentus, what a surprise! You got Bronze 5 in Season 5, Bronze 5 in Season 6, Bronze 4 in Season 7, and once again, Bronze 5 in Season 8. That's being considered as an Iron 4 player, because you got Bronze 5 in pretty much every season, but the one thing that makes it interesting, Silver 3 with a win rate of 96% on Riven after 54 games. What a surprise when you look at the champions and he never played Riven. What a surprise. How did you manage to get 52 wins and 2 loses and then you play other champions and you just suck? I'm I'm surprised. I want to know how this happened. Well, how much did you pay for that boost? Because this is not legit at all. Just take a look at the scores. 27 and 7. 23 and 10. 14 and 3. 9 and 6. 15 and 9. 8 and 1. And you lose a game with 16 and 7. What a surprise. Definitely, uh, you have improved a lot from, like, being every season in Bronze 5 and now being Silver 3 with this win rate. I'm not gonna lie. You play pretty good, man. But, uh, you're not legit. So, uh, Xentus, how much did you pay for this boost? Because, uh, I don't think you can improve from being Bronze in every season and then... Getting this win rate and in Silver 3. I'm I'm actually interested. How much did you pay? So you know what we are going to do in this video. We're actually going to spectate a game which he lost. He actually played Riven against a Singed and he was standing 8 and 4. Let's actually go and see uh, what this booster did to actually lose this game. I'm pretty surprised. I want to see what happened that made him lose this game. So let's actually go and spectate. So uh, here we are in this game where he plays Riven against a Singed and something that bleeds my eyes is that this guy is playing Riven with Ignite in against a Singed. Like why would you go Ignite against a Singed? Come on man. Booster. You're boosting your, uh, you're boosting your friend or you're getting paid to boost but at least at least go and take teleport when you play against the Singed. Uh, smart. You guys gotta go and see this, guys. So we are in the laning phase, Riven against a Singed. And just wait for it, it's about to happen very soon. So, he's just waiting for the moment. He goes in for the trade when the wave is coming for Singed. He just throws him. Singed just throws him into his own wave because he did like a weird movement. He's actually almost dying to the Singed. Singed has no mana. He could even turn around this and I think he could even kill him. But he just got him almost killed. He just got himself almost killed. What a surprise. Wow. He actually goes in, misses the auto attacks and he doesn't get to kill him. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Uh, I just need to think about this. But, okay, all right. He almost got him. He he can't kill him under the tower. Let's actually see how he does this. He can actually kill him under the tower. He could have actually killed him there. He had his Q back up. He could have auto and Q and then killed him. All right. I think he's gonna die. Oh. Okay. He's starting off with one kill. Not too bad. Not too bad. He actually got to kill him. He's looking for a way to all in Singed again. He's going in. Gets a few autos off. Gets a Q off. Alright. He all is gonna get him. Is he? No, he's not. What's gonna happen? Oh, yeah. He goes back in and takes the kill. Pretty nice, man. Two kills so far. Not too bad. Not too bad. He's got a huge level. I mean, he's got a huge farming lead right now. He's got two kills. This guy is ready to go. He's, he's going to be able to carry this game pretty easy. So at this point, he was looking to go back to the base so he can buy items. But it seems like this guy is staying in the brush. He's actually going to look for another all in those, on the Singed. He's going in, takes the Ignite, takes a whole combo, kills him again. 
he has now about double DCS and he has about three kills. Not too bad, man. If this guy keeps going like this, it's going to be a pretty easy win. It's going to be very easy. Like three kills in only six minutes. This is very big and very huge. Singed has pressed his ultimate. He is now going to look for the all-in. Let's actually see what happens. Riven actually trades him. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. He can actually go for the all-in now. Riffin can easily kill Singed at this point. He's got to run. All right. He goes for the all-in. Takes Singed down again, dude. Four kills so far. And only eight minutes in the game. Wow. Singed is popping the ghost. Camille is ganking the top lane right now. It's a 1v2 situation. Actually goes in for the Camille. Almost one shots the Camille. Camille goes down by the Ignite. Also, Singed is about to go down as well. Or, okay, okay, flash up. All right. This guy has just got a 1v2 situation. Now has six kills instead of four. And it's only 10 minutes in the game. How can he possibly lose this game? I I'm surprised. Let's actually go and find out how he lose this game. He's looking out for the Vladimir. Goes in for the Vladimir with the ultimate. Does it actually dies in a very awkward situation in a 1v4. Too bad. That's his first death. He just lost his whole bounty. That's not very good. That's not how you're gonna carry this game. They're chasing down the Lucian with Blitzcrank. Do they get the Lucian? That's the question. They don't get to Lucian. Lucian just walks away. Alright. Riven just goes back to farming. Well, he doesn't really have any wards on the map. So, uh, I don't really recommend this guy to stay. Alright. Lucian backs off. Goes back. He goes in for the Vladimir. Ignites the Vladimir. He doesn't actually focus the Lucian. He's actually going for Vladimir instead. Dies in a 1v2 situation. Blitzcrank. He wasn't really that useful, so it's more like a 1 of 2 situation. Riffin is going in for the all-in against Vladimir as well as the other guy. Doesn't seem to quite go that well. He's almost... Okay, he's flashing over the wall. Alright. He gets to live. Alright. Guys, if you are being in a game where it doesn't seem to go well or the game is almost about to be lost... If you're finding yourself in a situation where you have the choice between keeping your flash or waiting 40 seconds, you're better off just waiting for 40 seconds because flash on Riven is the like one of the only keys to carry a team fight. Like if you have your flash up as Riven, there's so many things that you can do in a team fight, and flash really allows you to hyper carry a team fight. So once again, if you're having a if you're having a game that goes very bad. Keep your flash to engage and carry. Don't waste your flash to survive, especially when you don't have a bounty on your head. Camille is taking down the bottom tower. The team sees it, they're actually walking to the bottom to take down Camille. Let's see what happens. She takes down the tower. Jarv and Trisana are coming in. Camille takes down. Alright, she's gonna take down Trisana. Alright. She finds herself in a 1v2 situation right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Almost got the Jarvan, but Vladimir got the Jarvan anyway. Not too bad. Raven's coming in. Ah. Okay, Blitzkrieg dies. Raven is still going in. There's a three level difference in here. Wow. Raven had such a huge lead. Six kills at the start of the game. Six kills. And right now, he's finding himself in this game where he's three levels behind against Vladimir. Wow. The enemy team is grouping up to finish this game. Riffin goes in and also goes down. This is gonna be the end of the game, guys. From six and zero to eight and four. Okay. Well. Let's be real honest here. He had a pretty bad team. I mean, everybody was having a very bad game. But once again, Riven had a 6 kills lead. Which means he could have easily carried this game. And by the mistakes that were being made so far, uh, he could have... Act 
he could have won this game very easily. Six kills is a lot, and uh, especially for the early game. But anyway, um, this guy is 100% a booster. We call it a booster because there is no way that you, as a Bronze 5 player in four seasons in a row, can get a 96% win rate with 52 games and then be silver. No way. He never. This guy never played Riven before. There, there's no way that this guy can reach silver with this win rate. Not possible. This guy has paid a booster or he sold his account or something. I don't know. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you are looking for a high elo Riven main, check out my stream. I'm streaming a lot. So if you want to learn, check it out. Also, if you want to be in a nice and friendly Discord community, make sure you join my Discord. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video, man. Peace.